Hello, hello, Blue Jays. Welcome back to the second week of Counselor's Corner. Uh, myself, Mr. Wagner, and Mr. Long here to, to speak with you today. Uh, so a couple things happening this week. Uh, I'm going to talk about kind of what, um, what Blaze is doing, uh, ways that we can reach out to you and you can access us during this difficult time uh, so you can still get the learning materials and the instruction materials uh, as much as possible. So for Blades, uh, we're doing remote learning plans that were sent out last Friday. So please be on the lookout in the mail for all of those um, and check your doorstep and your mailbox uh, for them. Hopefully today, if you haven't received them. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us via Class Dojo, which is another app that we're keeping in touch with uh, during this time. Um, as well as our YouTube channel that will be accessing uh, various different uh, bonus materials, uh, specials, and um, uh, different read-alouds that will be posted here. Uh, hopefully last week uh, regarding Blades, you reached the school to pick up the handful of books and the information that was also available to you as well. So uh, I'm going to transfer it over to Mr. Mung, who will talk about Fred and what they have been doing during this time as well. All right, hey guys. Um, hopefully you guys out there got the memo. Today's a green day, apparently. Mr. Wagner and I did not plan this. Uh, but just for some Fred updates, hopefully you guys have seen that a lot of Fred's learning is going live this week. We had um, all of our teachers on Zoom yesterday, and I know Ms. Summer, shout out to her class, she said 25 of the third grade Spanish immersion kids from both homerooms were together in one call, so that is awesome. Um, if you guys weren't there yesterday and you know, if you don't see this video in time for today, definitely hop on there. They're going to be there uh, Monday through Thursday this week doing those Zoom lessons. Um, also, just an update that our YouTube uh, channel has more than just the Counselor's Corner now. You might have seen our specials teachers are posting their videos on there as well. And if you haven't got your bag of books yet, you can pick them up at Fred. Just drive around the circle by the flagpole. Um, today, Tuesday, they started at 7.30 this morning. They'll be going until... 1.30 this afternoon, as well as 4 to 6 p.m. on Wednesday, 9.30 to 1.30, and on Thursday, 8.30 to 4. So there's a, a lot of variety of time to go pick up those books if you haven't already. But we hope you guys are engaging in all these different ways, whether you're Fred, whether you're Blades. Uh, we're trying to reach out to you guys and give you tons of opportunities of things to do uh, educationally during this time. So I think at this point, Mr. Wagner is going to start with a shout out. We did have some kids that replied to us our videos and we want to shout those kids out. So go ahead, Mr. Wagner. Yes, thank you for replying to the comments. Uh, first and foremost, Navea from Mrs. Lingham's class. Hello, shout out to you. Thank you for speaking with us in the comments below. And we hope you're doing well and you guys are being safe. The next shout out is for Jazeel uh, from Ms. Rolf's class. Jazeel did say hi to myself, Mrs. Lovely, and Mrs. Rolf. Uh, so we say hi back. We hope you're doing well. And thank you for watching and being the first two to give us replies on our videos. Um, so I know last week we talked about just kind of some boredom busters and ways you guys can stay busy. Uh, this week we want to kind of spin it on how to help others and kind of spread kindness during this time of quarantine because it can be tough when we can't go out and see people or you know, actually do things for them you know, face to face. Uh, so we brainstormed a, way, a list of ways that you guys can still spread kindness, because I know as counselors, we're always trying to get that kindness spread uh, throughout our schools, just because we know it is contagious. Uh, and we think that this time, more so than others, you know, maybe we just need to step out of our comfort zone or step out of our box and think of creative ways to spread that kindness. So. The first one we thought of was um, you could draw someone a picture or a card, and even if you can't send it, you could snap a picture of it and text it to them. There's so many digital online apps and websites where you can make cards or draw pictures on your phone. I know you kids are tech savvy, so find a way to do that and send it digitally. What's another way, Mr. Wagner? Another way is to give someone a call. Give a loved one, a family member a call, grandparents, uh, who miss you very much, aunts, uncles, um, cousins, uh, just people you don't, aren't able to reach out to, give them a call. They would love to hear from you and uh, to find out all that you've been up to. And if it's not a, a family member or uh, a loved one with, with close to you, you can always just call a classmate or text a classmate. 
um, see how they're doing. They, they're probably, you know, going through some of the same struggles that you are, whether it's, you know, boredom or not sure how to get on Zoom um, or, you know, whatever it is, just reach out to a classmate, even if it's just a quick, you know, hey, how you doing? What's new? Another way is to just use video chats or cameras to celebrate birthdays, um, video parties, to play games, to play board games uh, with like one person being in charge. Just in try and enjoy this time with our video capabilities and reach out to others to have fun. Yeah, I don't know about you, Mr. Wagner. I've seen a ton of friends on Facebook showing the creative ways that they're still you know, doing their weekly group stuff, whatever it is, but try to keep those routines by just getting creative with the technology. Um, obviously, make sure you guys have your parents' permission before you do anything online. Um, but we know you guys can, we know you guys are good at coming up with creative ways. So put those technology skills to the test and find some digital ways to spread kindness and, you know, stay positive as we still work together. I know at Fred, our theme this year is better together. We can still do that even from online. So, so last week we talked about ways to kind of keep, keep yourself busy, kind of boredom busters. Uh, we know that during this scary time, it's important to keep our mind active and to keep busy um, during this time. So your teachers are working very hard to create fun online learning act opportunities. So, so log in, check them out to the various uh, avenues that, are, that we have available to you. Um, it's, it sounds like a lot of fun that's happening out there. Um, Adam, do you want to talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, I wanted to highlight uh, one teacher, Ms. Branco from our school. She made an online game of Pictionary where they used um, an online whiteboard app that she found, and, and maybe it was through Zoom. I don't know the details too much, but I, I saw that they were turning to pages of a book. They had to pick a word from the book and then draw that word and everyone else could see them drawing it online. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, there's definitely tons of resources out there to, to keep yourself busy because it is scary as we see all this stuff on the news or we hear stuff from friends, parents, whoever, we're not sure what to think. And you know, kiddos, we, we're in the same shoes as you guys. We're just as unsure about what's going on in some cases. Uh, so we felt that one of the best ways to kind of fight that is to just keep a positive mindset and find little ways to have fun, like the online Pictionary. Uh, so Mr. Wagner and I are going to play a quick game that you guys could play with your friends through text, through TikTok, whatever it is you guys are on. Um, and we're calling it this or that. Uh, so here are the rules. Uh, we're going to take turns uh, giving each other a scenario. Uh, could be like a would you rather um and then we're going to answer what we would pick out of the two situations so do you want to go first mr wagner all right so here we go morning or evening all right um <laughs> see as i'm getting older it's starting to shift but i'd say i'm still more of an evening person um i'm not like i can get up in the morning i'm not one of those grouchy morning people but i'm definitely not the most active or chipper until about an hour or two into the morning once my Diet Coke has taken effect. So I'd say evening. All right. All right. Here's a tough one because I was thinking about how I'd answer this. But if you could eat one thing for a whole week and only that thing, would you pick candy and you get to choose whether it's chocolate, gummies, hard candy, uh -huh. or carrots. Plain carrots, no ranch dressing, nothing with them. Candy Ooh. or carrots for a whole week and that's all you get. Whew. Hmm, I get to pick the candy? You get to pick. I would say Haribo gummy bears. There you go. You don't think you'd be sick after a week of Haribo gummy bears? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably after <the> day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Next one for you. Text message or call? Which, what is your preference? Huh. I think if it depends, I'd probably in most cases go with a text message just because I am usually on the run and busy. Uh, but definitely for loved ones, definitely during this time of quarantine, you know, we, we do have a little bit more time on our hands to be able to make those calls. So I, I feel like in most cases I would go text, uh, but right now I'd say let's stick to the calls because I think that's important. Absolutely. All right. Would you rather be 20 years for the rest, 20 years old for the rest of your life or 50 years old for the rest of your life? Oi. Uh... <laughs> I'll, I'll take the young route and say, and say 20. Um, 20s. I haven't, haven't reached 50 yet, so I'm not sure what that's going to be like, but I, 
I do remember my 20s, and, and uh, I'll, I'll take the 20s for now. Don't they say, isn't the 50s like the golden era, or which yeah. era is that? Yeah, yeah. they do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one for, for you. Uh, puzzles or board games? I know you enjoy them both. What I do, one but do you prefer? This one's, this one's fairly easy. Even though they're both a lot of fun, um, always board games. I love you know, sitting down to a new board game, learning from friends, or even teaching friends. Mm -hmm. uh, my board game collection, if it wasn't packed up right now, it, it takes up like six big giant tubs. I love board games. So that's an easy Very one cool. for me. Mm -hmm. All right. And I'll, I'll finish with a hopefully easy one for you. Dogs or cats? Uh, dogs. Uh, dogs. I think I, that might differ from you, but uh, uh, I do have a Pembroke Welsh Corgi. His name is Dobby uh, from nice. Harry Potter. Um, and he is uh, two years old. So I, I really enjoy him. Awesome. All right, well guys, so obviously that was just an example of a quick and easy way just to get talking with one another. It can be on a face chat or FaceTime or whatever it's called. Um, there's so many options out there. You can text them, you can call them. Um, but you know, I learned some new things about Mr. Wagner today. Uh, you can learn some new things about classmates, friends, even family members, you know, call your grandparents and play this or that with them. They would, they would love it. Um, so we would love to hear from you. Uh, please feel free to write any new games that you are enjoying with others in the comments below. If you want to answer one of our questions that we asked each other, put it in the comments below as well. Or just give us a shout out with you know, a simple hello. Uh, we'd love to hear from you guys and to know that uh, we, we, we miss you all dearly and we can't wait to get back uh, to, to school as well. Yep. Stay safe out there, guys, and we'll see you at our next Counselor's Corner. Bye, guys. Bye.